Oh my gosh, the lighting is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. So it's getting to be the end of January and so I thought I would film another favorites video for you. If you've never watched a favorites video before, basically what it is is everything that I've been loving throughout this entire month. And these are videos that I absolutely love doing and videos that I try to do every month. So I'm going to share with some of you some of my absolute favorite things from the first month of 2016. The first thing I want to talk about is music. So this month, Steal the Show by Ricky Dillon featuring Trevor Moran came out and I became obsessed with it. I absolutely love the song. I love the meaning behind it. I love how it's basically friendship driven. I feel like we don't get enough songs that are just about friendship and they're all about like romantic relationships or unrequited love and it's just not accurate to the real world situations. Ricky Dillon's whole album Gold also came out this month and I have also been loving it. Ricky's music is not something that I've liked that much in the past, but when this album came out, I was like, okay, yeah, I gotta give it a shot. I like to steal the show, so I should definitely get the album and see if I like it. And I did. I love the album. It was so good, and my jam right now is Problematic featuring Snoop Dogg. I don't know why. I don't usually like music like that, but it's so good, and I really encourage you all to go check it out and buy the album. The next thing I wanted to talk about is movies. My favorite movie this month is Snervous, which is Tyler Oakley's documentary. As some of you know, I went to the Snervous premiere in Detroit on like December 4th or something, and that's when I saw it in this little rinky-dink Detroit theater, and it was amazing. I had also pre-ordered the digital copy, and I probably watched it like 10 times, and not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna go watch it after I'm done filming this. I don't know why I love it so much, it just captures like realness, because it's not entirely a polished version of Tyler, and I think that's what I really enjoy and really like about it, and I think if anybody wants to understand what being a bigger YouTuber YouTuber is like, you can watch that documentary. Obviously, I don't know what being a bigger YouTuber is like because I'm not a big YouTuber, but I feel like that's probably an accurate representation. So this month, I have been trying to get back into reading. I've always been a reader, I've always loved reading, and I've just fallen apart from it recently, but this month I decided to get back in by reading one of my favorite books, Maximum Ride by James Patterson. Maximum Ride is this really awesome series, and I don't want to tell you too much about it, but I do have the manga copy of the first book right here. I don't have the physical copy of the first one anymore. I can't find where I put it. I know I used to have it. But it's basically about genetically mutated children and their quest to take over the government. And it's a really good book and I recommend everybody to read the entire series because there's like 10 books in the series and it's phenomenal. And since I don't have the physical copy of the book, another thing that I've been loving is my Kindle Paperwhite. I have had this for a very long time now because my other Kindle broke because I dropped it and my parents ended up getting me the paper white which is actually a lot nicer and the reason I say it's nice is because you can adjust the brightness on it so it can actually light itself up so you don't have to have a book light in order to use it but the best part is that you can always turn the brightness back down so if you're reading in a well-lit room you don't need the strain on your eyes so sometimes I include food and drink items in these favorites and this month is no different this month I am including the Lando Lakes Arctic white hot chocolate mix it is my absolute favorite thing as you can see I've already drank it it's I I cannot formulate words to describe how fantastic this is it's basically a white chocolate hot chocolate and it's so good we sell it where I work and they're like 70 cents a pack but when you think about it if you were to go buy something like this at a coffee shop it'd be like five dollars so 70 cents five dollars kind of plays itself out as far as beauty or health products go one thing that I have still been loving is my EOS lip balm, EOS, EOS, I can't remember how to pronounce it, and I would show you, but I left it over there, so I don't want to leave the camera because it won't focus properly again. But the EOS is one of my favorites because especially in the winter when it's really, really cold here in Michigan, my lips get super chapped, and even with regular chapsticks and like even Burt's Bees and stuff like that, hasn't worked to make my lips soft and like not cracked and hurting. But this year I tried this lip balm and I absolutely love it. It works really well and it's just nice. And now onto my random products section of the video. One random product that I have been loving is my new phone case. This is a Solaris phone case. I don't know how many of you guys have Solaris, but it's usually a like mall kiosk situated right outside the Apple store. I had just replaced my phone because there was something wrong with the battery and I wanted a new case and I didn't want to have the heavy outer box on it. So what I did was I got this one, which is basically kind of clear on the back, but then it's gold on the sides. And it looks really nice. I really enjoy it. 
It's really cute, it's sleek, and it looks really good. And for my last favorite, I'm sure some of you guys have seen this if you follow me on any of my social media, like my Snapchat or my Twitter, which is all at the Riley Kyle. But the last favorite are the business cards and t-shirts that I ordered to wear and use when I go to Playlist Live this year. This is what the front of the business card looks like, and this is what the back looks like, and they think they turned out really well. I really love them a lot. They turned out really well, and they look really professional, which is awesome. So when people ask about my channel and stuff, I can just hand them a business card, and they won't have to go write stuff down or try and remember it. And also, along with that, I got t-shirts with my logo printed on them. So this is my huge logo t-shirt on the front, and then you flip it around, and on the back, it's got all of my information on it. And I'm really excited about it, because they look really good. And I really love it, and I really enjoy these shirts and everything that has to do with them. I'm just really happy with how they turned out. And that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this favorites video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what some of your favorite things this month were. If you don't want to leave a comment, you can tweet me on my Twitter or comment on my Instagram and tell me all of my social media and stuff like that is at the Riley Kyle. You can be sure to follow me there if you want, and all my links to that stuff will be below. And if you like me so much, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week, one video on Tuesdays and one video on Thursdays. So that's two videos a week coming your way. And that's all I've got for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I love sharing my favorite stuff with you guys, and I want you guys to share your favorite stuff with me. So be sure to interact with me somewhere, anywhere. I don't care where it is. Just interact with me somehow, please. And that's it. That's all I've got for you. I love you guys and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye!